Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanna address the elephant in the room, the fact that we still have our fucking Christmas tree up. What is it, January, January 21st. Christmas tree's still up and I'll tell you why. We've been sick for the last three weeks and we finally feel better. I feel like a normal human again. I'm still at like 80%, but I'll take it. That's why we're lazy as F and haven't dealt with that situation. It's going down this week, so this is the last time you're gonna see it, so take it in. There's still like shit underneath it too, like I don't even wanna talk about it. Back to the topic of this video, you'll notice that I have no makeup on right now, and that's because I wanna talk through and show you guys some of the new beauty goodies that I've gotten, and I wanna apply them as I talk through them so that you can see what they look like. So I have a couple of skincare products I wanna show you guys because I'm really loving them lately, and then the other things that I wanna share are all makeup related, so like some really cool stuff for the brows to make them look nice and clean and crisp, a new liquid eyeliner I love, a new cream bronzer, and then also a Generation G, a Glossier Generation G review on the new formula because I used to use the old one and I like didn't love it, but I still use it because I love the color so much. So I wanna talk through my take on the new formula and whether or not I like it, even though I'm sure you guys have seen like 75 million videos about it already, I'm still gonna talk about it today, so bear with me. If you're interested, keep on watching. So let's start up with the skincare since I already have my like daily skincare on right now, but I'll just talk through the products with you really quick. The Charlotte Tilbury team was sweet enough to send me this awesome package of all their skincare goodies, and I've tried a bunch of it, and there are a couple products that I really, really love that I wanted to share with you guys. First product is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. This is an eye cream for nighttime. It's awesome in the sense that it's fragrance-free, it's super, super creamy, and like, when I wear it, it just feels so like nice and luxurious and I wake up and my skin is like hydrated and like nice and shiny still. I really love the formula. You can even tell just from how it looks that it's super creamy. My biggest thing with skincare is that if it's super fragrant, you know it's probably not gonna be good because anything super fragrant is not good for your face and I really appreciate that. The formulas that they use are like a very light natural fragrance and they're like super creamy, super luxurious and they just feel awesome when you put them on. So I've been rotating in this eye cream alongside my retinol that I do every other day. I'll actually link to my full-blown skincare routine video that I did a few weeks back in the card so you can check it out. And I'm actually really, really loving it and have noticed results. So alongside the eye cream, they also sent me the night cream for the face. Really, really love this as well. It's for the same reasons, pretty much. It's very creamy, doesn't have a strong fragrance. Here's what it looks like. The other night I had it on and Leah was like, your face looks so shiny right now. And I was like, winning, that is the goal. I want a shiny face all the time. You can see my face is shiny right now. So if you guys watch my skincare video, you'll see that like mostly at night I do retinol or I do face oils. I never used to do like a proper night cream, but I think I'm sold on the concept with this stuff. It's really, really nice. Also, FYI, I will link to all the products I'm talking about today in the details of the video. So if you want to shop any of them, that's where they'll be. On to makeup, and I'll start doing my face as we go. The first product I wanted to talk through, it's the Hoola by Benefit cream contour stick so i have been married to my bronzer that i use and i will link to my everyday makeup video because i've shared that i think like way back in the summer the bronzer i use always 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 and for years is the Too faced chocolate soiree and i love it it's a powder based bronzer it's matte it just goes on really nicely it gives a nice color but i'm all about trying like more cream based products i've transitioned to a cream blush, I do like a very creamy concealer. I don't really put any powders on my face outside of the Too Faced. I wanted to try like a creamier type of bronzer, even though technically this is a contour stick. Same thing, right? I used to use actually the Hoola, the Benefit Hoola bronzer like years ago before I transitioned to the Too Faced. It's like a great color. I just thought that the Too Faced kind of went better with my skin tone because it's a little bit darker. So what I do is I put it in the cheekbones here. I kind of trace down like the jawline. This is how I pretty much apply my bronzer anyway. And then you kind of go into the hairline up here. 
I also get like my nose area so like pretty much contouring without like full-blown contouring and then I pretty much take like a blush brush you could use like a, a thicker brush like this if that's what you prefer I'm not like a makeup pro so I just kind of use what I have and roll with it so I kind of just take it and I blend it in and you can see that it blends like super nicely adds just a touch of color but it's like really pretty and has like this like nice sheen to it see how pretty it looks I love it and then I might go in with like a second round just on the cheeks for a little added color so there we go wanted to give you like a little close up here. It's like super natural, super light, but gives you some sort of dimension, a little bit of contour. I'm more on like the natural side when it comes to makeup. I want like a natural, very dewy look, but like also want some color in my face, but not to the point where I look orange or looks like I have like a full face of makeup on. So that's why I really, really love this product. And then another thing you could do is just kind of try to like quickly gloss over maybe the, the spots that you didn't hit and there's still some makeup on the brush, so it will, it will do the trick. So that is the Hoola Contour Stick. Really love it, and you kinda just twist it while it goes up. I would imagine this lasts quite a while, and the great thing about it is that you could also use your fingers, so if you're on the go or whatever and you need a little bit of a touch up, you can just swipe it on your face, rub it in, and not have to bring like your bronzer, your brush, and all that shit in your purse. So really great for on the go or for nights out or for like weddings or anything like that. So I'm gonna fast forward this part because I'm gonna put on my normal blush and my concealer. So I'll be right back. So I put on really quick the concealer I always, always wear. It's the Tarte Maracuja, I'll link to it below. And then I have on the Glossier Cloud Paint Blush in Haze. So this is like my baseline, and then I add in my eye makeup lipstick. However, you know, I'm feeling that day, I decide how much I wanna add. Moving on to the other new shit that I wanna share with you. So I have been a huge fan of brown eyeliner always, for like 10 years now, just because I have such dark features and I feel like it really softens my face. Lately, I've kind of not been wearing eyeliner for every day just because I've gotten lazy, but at Benefit, I found they just launched this new eyeliner. It's like a roller liner in this beautiful, beautiful brown color, and I just had to have it. And now I'm like kind of obsessed and I want to wear it every day. It is the Benefit Roller Liner in Brown. It's a liquid liner, so it can be kind of tricky to put on. So I kind of want to show you guys how I learned how to do it at the Benefit store on Armitage in Chicago. If you live in Chicago, you should definitely, definitely go there. It's awesome and everyone there is great. Francisco was the one that hooked me up and showed me how to do my eyeliner. So if you need help, see him. So what I do, and this is just like a little pamphlet that came in the container, but I've been using this as a way to like sort of trace the wing, because I like doing a winged tip with this eyeliner. Just trace it at the shape of my eye, and then I add line that comes out. Depending on how deep you want to go, you can make it more winged, less winged, whatever you're comfortable with. Kind of like something in the middle. So you can see the little wing that I drew on. It's a straight line and this is like a great way to just trace and get like the perfect wing shape. So I'll repeat the same on the other side. The trickiest part is getting them so that they're even, but this looks about right. The next step is kind of tracing back from the end that you created and like sort of creating like a thicker outer edge and then a thinner inside part. Trace it and create like a, a natural curve. You just go straight across from the line that you created and just kind of trace the shape of your eye. So I like doing this like thick on the end and then it kind of tapers off as you get closer to the inner eye, but this is what it looks like. Such a pretty color, right? It's like this light brown, but it's like just dark enough to make a statement. It's really, really beautiful. If you want to do like a winged eye every day without looking too extra, like this is the way to go. Repeat for the other side. Let's trace this guy in. It's not 
so hard to put on, right? Like, I was so freaked out about winged eyeliner. I'm like, I can never fucking do this myself. All you need is something to trace it with, and anyone can do it, really. So the other thing I got from Benefit that I'm fucking obsessed with is this brow kit. Bomb ass brows. It's a kit, it comes with like five or six different products and I got it at a killer deal. I think I got it for like 60 bucks because they were running a promotion, but still, it's like a great deal regardless. Here's all the shit that comes in the kit. You have this brow powder, you have this gel, this is like a, an additional tinter, you have this highlighter, a pencil, and a brush. So I don't use all the stuff in the kit, but I use most of it. Talk you through what I use, how I use it, all that good stuff. So normally for every day, I use a Glossier Boy Brow. And it's great, it's very low maintenance, it fills in so you can see I have nothing on my eyebrows now, and you can see I have these like holes here, the shape, this one kind of arches up too much. So I have like little holes in my brows despite them being like thick as fuck. I have to fill them in to make them look really clean and crisp. I normally use the Boy Brow, and I fill in like the edges here, which is great for every day. It's very low maintenance, it does the trick. But I really love this kit for like, if I'm going out, I'm going out to dinner, or I know I'm gonna be like out and about or shooting for Instagram, follow me if you don't. If I know I'm gonna be out and about or it's like I'm getting a little dolled up, I like to do this kit and kind of do like a full makeover to my brows just cause it looks, you'll see, so nice and clean. It's amazing. And the great thing about it is it doesn't look too much where you kind of look like super extra, it doesn't look natural. There's a way to do it so that you look really natural and just like really clean and crisp and sharp. I start off the brow process with precisely my brow pencil. Essentially it's kind of like an eyeliner. It's a little brow pencil with a very sharp tip. And what I do here is I kind of like trace what I want to fill in with the powder and the gel. For this brow that I told you is like kind of fucked up. I just extend it out so that it matches my other brow. So I kind of like trace the bottom here very lightly. You don't need to go super strong on this because it's pretty dark. Most light, like you can already see a difference where it looks a lot closer to this one. So here's kind of what it looks like after I've traced just this bottom area here. You could see a difference already. The other thing I love to do is extend out the end. It just looks so much nicer when your brows are longer versus like cutting out here they should extend if you look at the edge of your eye your brow should extend all the way ideally so that's what i'm gonna do with the pen you gotta be careful with this so it doesn't look like you're tattooing your brows on there you can see it looks pretty natural it hits the edge which is perfect i like to trace like the top part here so essentially your brows should be if you want to like have a way to trace them it should be like this like this like this, like this, and then like that. And then for the inside, you wanna trace like the inner eye. So that's kind of like the baseline you should use. I'll trace the outer edge. Here's where my hole is. I'm not gonna trace this too much because that's where I'm gonna plug in the powder. Here, you can see like a very rough outline of where I'm gonna fill in here at the edges. Repeat the same for the other side. This brow is a little less fucked up here in the arch, so I don't really have to do much there. I'm just gonna work kind of on the edges. So you can see this is where it needs help, right in here. So this is what it looks like after you do the pencil. Very clear where I need to fill in. Next product to apply is the Foolproof Brow Powder. And if you open this up, it's so cute. There are two shades in here. You're supposed to sweep this lighter shade in the front half of your brow and the darker shape at the edges. I'm like obsessed with their packaging, by the way. I actually like to use the brush that comes in the kit to apply this versus the brush that's in there. I don't do too much in the inner brow because I have like very thick brows already, so I mainly focus on the edges, so I use the dark color. So I've applied the dark shade here on the outer edge, and you can already see a major difference. So I basically filled in that area that I traced. Look how like nice and full it looks and so natural. I'm gonna repeat the same for the other side. There we go. So we got the powder in both sides. You can tell they already look so much cleaner and full and crisp. The last couple steps are fairly simple. The first one is to lock in the brow shape and the powder. To do this, you use the 24 hour brow setting gel and it's great, it's just like a clear gel and you kind of just run it through the brows to make sure they stay in place because if you have rogue ass brows like I do, when they're not trimmed, they're like a forest. Doesn't really change anything, just locks in the product. 
And then my last step, which is my favorite, is using this high brow highlighter. And what this does is it really accentuates your brow line. You just kind of trace a very thin amount like underneath the brow. I like to do it just at the edge. You do it on both sides. I haven't blended it yet, but this is what it looks like before you blend. And you just kind of run it with your fingers and blend it in. And you have this like really beautiful brightness underneath your brow, on your brow bone. So here are my perfect brows, thanks to the Benefit Bomb Ass Brows Kit. I'm so hooked, and like, hopefully you guys agree with me that this looks fairly natural and doesn't look like I'm trying too hard, hopefully. My brows have like, never looked like this my entire life, so I'm glad I finally figured things out at fucking age 31. Better late than never. Last but not least, and probably what you've all been waiting for, maybe, is my review on the Glossier Generation G new formula. I have it in two colors. I actually just tossed the old one, so I don't have it anymore. New formula, this is what the packaging looks like. I have it in the Jam and the Leo. Today I'm gonna pop on the Leo so you can see what it looks like. In terms of the packaging, they've made a ton of progress because the previous packaging was so shit. It was so janky, it would crack. Like this top part of the cap would crack and it would just like fall into my purse. And the lipstick was so dry. One, it was like not pleasant to put on. It was like super dry and like, I felt like it was almost like tugging at my lips. Not a fun or a pleasant experience. The thing was so dry that the lipstick itself would break. I remember there were times where like, the cap would fall off from my purse and the lipstick was broken. I would have lipstick all over the shit in my purse, which was kind of infuriating and made me never want to wear it again. They fixed that problem in terms of packaging. It's way, way better now. It feels a little bit more luxurious, a little bit nicer. No issues with it breaking or falling in my bag at all. It seems like the formula is a little bit more moisturizing, which is awesome because that was like one of its biggest flaws. So I just put on the Leo. And in terms of like how it feels when you put it on, you can tell that they've really invested in the new formula in terms of the hydration aspect and they've listened to everybody's feedback of it being like drying. Because when you put it on, it almost feels like you're putting on a lip balm. So it's like really nice and smooth. You can feel like it's hydrating. It actually feels like really soothing when you put it on your lips. It really did address like the hydration aspect of the, of the formula because that's awesome. In terms of the tints, I would have preferred if they made them a little bit more tinted. I guess like the point of it is to have like a natural, just like very natural, like slight sheer tint. So when I apply it at first, I really love the tint that it has, but it like tends to fade pretty quickly. So I find myself having to reapply it often. Overall, packaging, major upgrade. Formula, major upgrade. It's more moisturizing, it feels good to put on, and it doesn't dry out my lips like the old formula did. The only drawback that I wish they addressed is like just like the level of tint and how long it lasts. Really, really love the new formula and I think they've made some major strides and I'm very excited to try out the new colors too. So that's all I got for you guys today. Those are all the products I'm loving so far. New makeup, skincare tidbits I've rotated into my routine this month. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more. I'll chat with you guys soon. Bye.